You thrown her uh, here on uh, what a fantastic day it is for the Rodriguez family, uh, Sophia and Victoria, both uh, individually qualifying for Nike Cross Nationals, uh, climbing up uh, from uh, from uh, from ninth and uh, somewhere in the twenties that uh, we don't ever want to revisit. Uh, yeah. But obviously, absolutely br uh, brilliant today, uh, Victoria. Just uh, for it all to come together so you know extraordinarily at the state meet and then to have enough left today you know because like i was talking with with owen like it's hard to reset you know and, and put together two hard weeks like this like just how how meaningful uh, you know has the past you know eight nine days been for you and the family it's been really really good like i think especially coming off of states like i think that just gave everyone like the energy that we needed for going into this and I think this was a little bit more chill, it was less pressure for everyone so I think that all honestly helped. Um, we were all just really happy and excited coming into it so I think that was nice. Most definitely. <laughs> Sophia, in, you know, when, when, we, when we talk about pressure, I mean I know the standard that, that both of you love to compete at mm -hmm. and are ambitious to compete at so when you not only performed so remarkably last week uh, but just did it so controlled and so within yourself like just how, uh, how much kind of reassurance and, and affirmation did that give you heading into today yeah I mean um, executing states was really big for me and it was like a dream come true I, I just ran my race and it worked out so coming here just doing the exact same thing and um, just yeah what you said like being controlled being calm within myself and just knowing what I'm capable of and just executing it's yeah it's just a great feeling so when I had the blessing of talking with you know Chloe and, uh, and, and Emily and Electra as well like the five separated pretty definitively, pretty quickly and whatnot. Uh, Victoria, like, uh, I mean, again, you never take anything for granted. You know, nothing's promised, nothing's guaranteed, especially on this course. But like, just the fact that it was, it was that group up front, and obviously a lot, a lot of women that you're very familiar with, and you know, and have a lot of respect for. Like, just you know, how how good was that, especially setting up uh, the last K? That it's like, you know, just stay within yourself you know, uh, and run hard all the way to the finish and the rest will take care of itself. Yeah, it was really nice. I had Emily there with me for a good bit of the race um, until like we hit the sand for the second time. And even then I still had her in my sights. So I think like knowing, like looking up and being able to see the competition, it was really, it helped a lot. And um, yeah, I kind of just like going into it, I kind of just wanted to do the best I could. So I think keeping the like front runners in sight the whole time was my goal. So I think I did a pretty good job at that. And I think I would say so. I would say so. Sophia, uh, I, I said uh, uh, to Chloe that, like, obviously, everything was assured in terms of both of you going to Glendivere on December 7th, but it's always good to have a little simulation, a little dress yeah. rehearsal, right? <laughs> Bring a little extra competitive energy out there at the end. Like, do, did you feel, you know, especially when the fact that you just ran away from everyone last week and it was you versus the clock and the best yeah. version of yourself, was it good to kind of? Be in that scenario again? Yeah, it was. Um, I you know. Obviously, I'm still learning. Like this year has been way better than last year. But um, I took the lead. I would say and made my move a little bit earlier than I have been in, say, like at states or districts. I've been um, being a little conserved the first mile. But this this race, I knew how to get out hard and protect my space. So I did that, and then um, I made my move a little earlier before the first mile. So some like new things here and there when it came to making my move but it was still a strong move and um i knew what i was doing but just like learning little things like that like maybe that was a little too early and i mean obviously it's not the best to get hogged down but um yeah it's just she's a great competitor i mean she always brings up a fight and she's so tough so yeah i mean it's a great simulation and it just the competition only gets better every race so Next, um, in December, it's gonna be amazing. So yeah, it's a great simulation. But I know that uh, both of you will trade, like, you know, hey, hey like, we got it, everything signed up, like everything's good to go. <laughs> yeah. uh, and now you get to go back and have three really meaningful weeks to mm -hmm. physically reset, emotionally reset, mentally reset, yeah. spend Thanksgiving at home, not have to worry about, you know, yeah. uh, you know getting getting into a race, you know, like, like two, 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 two days later. So uh, Victoria, like, how, how good is that? That it's like everything, can really gear itself you know, to a really you know, meaningful uh, peak, and everything can kind of be planned out very, you know, very uh, methodically and meticulously. I think it's going to be a good three weeks. Um, I think we're going to try not to look too far ahead, and we're just going to train like we always have been, and I think that'll it'll work out for us. Yeah. And Sophia, I mean, obviously, you know, after this experience last year, like you still find yourself, you know, at a national race. Uh, just, but now the fact that, uh, that this is, you know 
uh, you know, executed, everything is checked <laughs> yes. off one. Just what does it do for you, peace of mind wise, that like you don't have to emotionally reset and chase? Yeah, um, I mean, it just means everything. I mean, looking back, I try not to focus too much on last year, but I mean, yeah, I was just, I'm so stoked and so happy. And it's such a great group of girls and guys, so it's, it's gonna be memories for a lifetime. But um, yeah, I think just what Victoria said, staying healthy for sure and just having good training blocks and just um <laughs> and uh yeah just enjoying it but and a fantastic effort for the team <laughs> yes. uh, that we don't want to minimize as well mercer island going to be very well represented on the summer 7th at glendevere with you. these two incredible women and owen powell uh ladies have a great thanksgiving thank congratulations you. You thank you so much